LSIS USA's Technical Training Department presents S100 and IS7 keypad navigation. In this video, we will demonstrate how to navigate the S100 and IS7 keypad. This keypad is included standard on all sizes of IS7 VFDs as well as on the 40 horsepower and up S100s. Note that this keypad will also work on the smaller S100s but is offered as a separate option. Topics covered in this video include navigating the parameter groups, changing parameters, changing a local speed reference, and checking basic monitors. These instructions will be helpful for anyone who works with the LS S100 or IS7 VFDs. At first power up, you should see a display similar to this. The three main monitors displayed are frequency, voltage, and amps. Above these, near the top of the keypad's display, you will see TK. This informs the user of the drive's current programming for the run command and frequency source. T means terminal run command, and K means keypad frequency reference. To change a keypad frequency reference, simply press the program enter key, and then increase or decrease the reference with the up and down arrows. You can also use the left and right arrows to move the cursor over. Let's set this to 10 Hz. Press enter to save the value. Now that we have a speed reference set up, we need to give the VFD a run command. As mentioned, terminals is the default run command source. Terminal P1 is the default forward run, FX, and P2 is for reverse, RX. We have a switch wired up to this VFD. Closing the switch on P1 will run forward. You will now see the speed and output voltage increase up to the set reference. This is also a good time to check your motor direction. If the motor direction is backwards, power down the VFD and swap any two motor leads on the output of the drive. This operation reflects the default control settings. Let's say we have an application which is using an external 0 to 10 volt speed pot. To set this up, we must go into the parameter mode. Pressing the mode key will change the keypad mode to the parameter display. We can see this because PAR is displayed in the top left corner. To the right of PAR is the parameter group. Here we see DRV. Pressing the right arrow, we will see numerous groups, BAS, ADV, and more. These parameter groups are broken down into an easy to remember order. The list can scroll both ways by pressing the left or right arrows. The most common parameters are set in the DRV and BAS groups. For a full list of parameter groups and settings, refer to the S100 or IS7 user manual. In each parameter group, there are parameter codes or numbers listed. Press the down arrow in the DRV group to get to code 6. As the keypad displays, this is the run command source. The current setting is FXRX1. This means the VFD will run forward or reverse when the terminals programmed to FX or RX are activated. We saw this working when we toggled our switch on terminal P1. Press your down arrow once more to display parameter 7. This is your frequency reference source. Press your program enter key to begin making a change. We mentioned that we need to control our speed from a 0 to 10 voltage source. On the S100 and IS7 drives, that would be wired up to terminal V1. So press your down arrow to select V1, and press the program enter key to make the change. While we are in programming, let's check another important parameter. Press the right arrow to navigate to the BAS group. BAS stands for basic parameters. Press the down arrow until you get to parameter 13, rated current. This is where you need to set the motor's full load amps based on the motor nameplate data. Our motor here is 1.9 amps at 230 volts. Press the program enter key and use the arrows to adjust the setting to your motor FLA. Press the enter key once again once you have set it. This setting is important as it sets the overload level to protect your application and the motor itself. Press the escape key a few times to go back to the main monitor display. Now we will see TV at the top. This means terminal start and voltage source speed control. Your speed reference will change as the signal varies from 0 to 10 VDC. We can start the VFDs flipping a switch or closing a dry contact which is wired up to terminal P1. As you change the pot, you will now see the frequency and voltage begin to ramp up. We will also see the amperage that the motor is drawing. There are a couple other keypad modes you may find useful. Press mode a couple times to go past the parameter mode and into the trip mode. This is designated TRP in the top left. Here you can see the five most recent trips that the VFD has recorded. 
This mode is an excellent tool for troubleshooting. If you do not have a trip mode, this simply means that the VFD has never tripped out or all previous trips have been cleared. Pressing your mode key again will display the configuration mode. This is designated CNF in the top left. Here you will find information such as VFD firmware versions, contrast settings, custom display options, and much more. Pressing mode once more returns you to the main monitor display. Thank you for watching this training video. For any technical questions, please call or email us via the methods listed on screen.